Hello and welcome. I'm Jason Albert and today I'm helping the professional professionals of the world write the most important short monologue they'll ever need. That's right, today I'm going to show you how to write your very own elevator pitch. Uh huh, yeah, Jason Albert TV with Jason Albert. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Jason Albert, we know how this works. You say you're gonna teach us how to make our very own elevator pitch, but instead, you're probably gonna have some other super smart or creative interpretation that promises to be both hilarious and endearing. Well, you know what I have to say to that? That, you're just a word. Seriously though, folks, when I say elevator pitch, I mean elevator pitch, not elevator. 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 Get it? For real though. When I say elevator pitch, I mean elevator pitch, not... Jason gets the signal. He checks the runner on first. He hits the button. Elevator down. In the pitch. Steer right. Folks, all I want to do is give you a useful tool that you can add to your arsenal of other useful tools. Okay? Great. Now, making your very own elevator pitch isn't easy, so here's some helpful tips you can use to help you write an effective elevator pitch. First, plan it out. Think about what you're writing and what you want to convey. What can you offer? What are the strengths? What are the benefits for the person you're talking to? For the planning process, you should be listing out every piece of information and detail you can think of. Second, pick only the most important and intriguing information and begin writing the actual pitch. Remember, the point of the pitch is to be quick and informative. The entire pitch should only be about 30 seconds long. Now, be sure to lead with a strong, enticing first sentence and finish with a sentence that leaves the recipient of this pitch wanting more. Third, practice, practice, practice. Folks, you wanna be sure that you have this pitch memorized and ready to go at a moment's notice. And keep in mind that practicing is more than just reading and reciting the words, it's about practicing the delivery, the emphasis and inflection on certain words, the body language, and of course, the confidence. There's nothing worse than hearing a pitch from someone who doesn't look as if they actually believe what they're saying. All right, so if you're anything like me, you don't learn very well unless you can see an example or a demonstration that shows the application of what you just learned. And that's why I'm gonna give you my own personal elevator pitch coming up right after I do something completely random. Flip, 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 flip. Hey whale, where are you going? Flip, 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 flip. I didn't know that's the sound a whale makes. Flip, 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 flip. Wow, would you like me to do your hair quick? Flip, flip, flip. Dang, whale, you look good. Blup, blup. Welcome back. It's time now for my personal elevator pitch. Are you sick and tired of taking the stairs? Do you ever find yourself on the first floor just wishing there was a better way to get to the next level? Well, if you have, then I've got just the thing for you, the elevator. Whether you're lazy, out of shape, disabled, in a rush, or just have too many groceries to carry in one trip, the elevator should be your mode of vertical transportation. Just push the button to summon, step in, and push the button that corresponds to your destination, and you're done. These elevators are perfect for office buildings, apartment buildings, hospitals, etc. So order yours today, and if you order within the next 10 minutes, you'll receive your very own elevator attendant for free. Elevators, wanna get high? Thank you so much for watching. See you later, crocodile. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow, and share.